after extensive deliberation and a democratic process involving all political parties in the Parliament of Canada, a historic decision has been reached. It has been unanimously voted in favor of allowing the United States of America to annex the entirety of Canadian territory. This decision was made with careful consideration and in the best interest of our nation's future. This decision marks the end of an era for Canada as an independent nation. The unification with the United States presents a unique opportunity to forge a stronger and more prosperous future for all Canadians. We ask all Canadian citizens to comply with this historic decision. The Canadian dollar will be replaced by the US dollar on May 7, 2039. All banks will automatically make the change. If you have cash, please exchange it before the deadline. Currently, one US dollar is worth 830.23 Canadian dollars. This transition will result in every province and territory becoming a part of the United States. And as per the request of the federal US Senate, new names will be imposed to mark this historic shift. While change can be challenging, we believe this decision brings forth numerous opportunities for both nations. Please find below the new names for each province and territory, Newfoundland and Labrador, Atlantic Union State, Prince Edward Island, Chesapeake State, Nova Scotia, Acadian State, New Brunswick will become part of the state of Maine, Quebec, Northern Vermont State. The current Vermont State will be now be named South Vermont. Ontario will become part of the state of Michigan, Manitoba, Prairie State, Saskatchewan, Wheatland State, Alberta, Chinook State, British Columbia, Sequoia State. The Yukon will become an integral part of the state of Alaska, Northwest Territories, Aurora Territories, Nunavut, Arctica Territories. We understand that this news may evoke a range of emotions within each of you. This decision was made after extensive analysis and consideration of critical factors that were putting the country itself in jeopardy. Canada has been facing a severe economic downturn with a recession lasting for nine years. Despite various efforts and policies implemented by the Canadian government, the economy has struggled to recover, resulting in significant challenges for the nation. During this prolonged recession, Canada has had to borrow substantial amounts of money from the United States to sustain its operations and provide essential services to its citizens. The mounting debt has become increasingly unmanageable, and the interest payments alone have started to place an enormous burden on the country's finances. The decision to allow annexation was made in the best interest of the Canadian people, aiming to provide a path towards economic stability and a brighter future. It is hoped that this integration will open up new avenues of trade, investment, and collaboration, ultimately leading to the revitalization of the Canadian economy and improved living standards for its citizens. Over the past four years, the number of incursions by Chinese military aircraft and planes on our territory has become increasingly commonplace. While Canada possesses a capable military, the scale and intensity of these security challenges have stretched its resources to the limit. Despite the valiant efforts of the Canadian Armed Forces, the country has found it increasingly difficult to effectively counter these threats on its own. The United States has provided assistance in dealing with these security risks, but it has come at a considerable cost. By aligning with the United States and becoming part of the nation by the most powerful military force in the world. On May 7th, when the United States Army arrives to assume control over our territories, we urge all Canadians to extend a warm and peaceful welcome. Let us remember that our strength lies in our ability to adapt, unite, and embrace change as we embark on this new journey together. This is a message from the Loyalists of Canada. Today, we face a threat unlike any we have ever known. Our beloved nation, the Great White North, is on the brink of being annexed by our neighbors to the south. But we will not stand idly by and watch our sovereignty crumble. Our ancestors fought to establish this land, and now it falls upon us to defend it from those who seek to seize it. 
As loyal citizens, we firmly believe that Canada belongs to the Crown of England, and it is our duty, regardless of our origins, to protect this land we call home. We cannot face this threat alone. The patriots of Quebec and our First Nations comrades will also be distributing these commands to their citizens. Together, we will form an unyielding wall of resistance, protecting our land, our freedom, and our collective identity. Block all access to the country, from small country roads to main highways and railroads, to prevent or slow the advance of American troops. Use any material at your disposal, sheet metal, scrap trucks, tree trunks, and so on. If you can destroy the asphalt on the roads leading to the border points, do it. Any heavy construction machinery can be a major asset in this mission. Keep an eye out for any possible American spies trying to reach the movement. The likelihood of this happening is high. It's best to work in small groups of people who know each other and live in the same area. Although we're trying to avoid any confrontation with the invading troops, it's highly likely that several battles will take place. Canadian Army bases are currently under U.S. military control, so it's not advisable to enter them to subtract weapons. We are currently in discussions with several high-ranking officers ready to desert in order to receive their support in this mission. To avoid any predictability, our movement has no leader or geographical location. Only the information contained in this message can be treated as official. Spread the word, rally your friends and family, and prepare for the battle ahead. May 7th will be a day that history will remember. Let the world witness the strength of the Canadian people, united in the face of adversity. This is a message to all American citizens of the former Canada. In less than an hour, the mission to take over the territory will be launched. We've come to free you from your unbearable situation, which has now lasted for more than a decade. We guarantee you a better life in the greatest country in the world. Do not panic and follow all the indications given through the traditional media. Any form of resistance will not be tolerated. The U.S. Armed Forces have orders to treat anyone opposing this transition as an enemy of the state, punishable by capital punishment. If you suspect an individual planning treasonous acts against the United States, please notify the military posts that will be set up in your neighborhood within the first five days. Each new American citizen will receive a welcome kit including educational documents about the history of your new country, a medium-sized U.S. flag, which we suggest you display proudly on the property of your residence, a limited edition jersey commemorating this historic moment. Several designs are available to celebrate the figures who have left their mark on our country's history, a cooking guide with traditional American food recipes, a calendar containing the important American holidays, a temporary American passport, if you suffer from food shortages, you will be given an additional kit containing a selection of non-perishable foodstuffs. A new request can be made every week. Residents of northern Vermont, who are unilingual French speakers, will be required to take part in an immersion program at one of our centers in Montana to learn the basics of the English language. All French language signage will be banned throughout the territory. More important details will be sent to you shortly. Make May 7th a day of celebration. Thank you for your time.